Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some hidden features inside of Snow Leopard. The first one I want to show you is how to get the entire date in your toolbar at the top. Instead of clicking on it to see the whole date, you can now get it inside of your toolbar and you can just take a quick glance up there and you'll see that it's there. So to do this, you just have to go down to System Preferences and click Date and Time. And under Date Options, you'll see Show Day of the Week and Show Date. So you want to click both of those and now when you look up there they'll both be there you no longer have to click it to see what the date is and that's a nice little feature the next feature i want to show you is quicktime 10 recording to do quicktime 10 recording all you have to do is launch quicktime player go up to file and now you have three different options of how you want to record you can do record a movie which records from your eyesight you can record audio which records from your microphone or you can do a screen recording Screen recording is nice, it's now built into QuickTime Player. Before you had to download third party applications, but now you can just click this little thing and you'll see different preferences. You can uh, record from your microphone, you can change the quality, and you can change where to save it to. To play or to record, you just have to click this button and it'll start recording. So that's a nice feature built into Snow Leopard if you don't want to pay for third-party applications. The next feature is Grid Exposé. They have improved Exposé a lot this time around with Snow Leopard. Before, when you did, um, activated Exposé, it would show up in a real messy, um, just cluttered all over the screen. But now it's in a grid. It's all sorted. You can see everything really nicely. And there's also a new feature in Snow Leopard that you can see your minimized applications. So that's really nice if you have a lot of minimized applications, they will also show up under Exposé. Another thing you can do with Exposé, which is a hidden feature, um, is you can hit Command 1, and it'll order all your windows alphabetically. And you can hit Command 2, and that'll hit, um, order them by application. So there's actually a glitch here. I'm on a totally different website than Apple.com, and it says Apple. So I don't know what that is, but uh, hopefully they'll fix it soon. And that was the expose feature. Let me close all these. Okay, so there's a new minimize feature with Snow Leopard. So if you have a window open, you used to be able to minimize and that was it. It would minimize all the way over here. But now, you can go into System Preferences and click the Dock pane and now you can minimize the window into the application icon so that's pretty cool so next time you minimize it'll go straight to that icon so if you have a bunch of different windows open you want it to minimize they'll all minimize into their application so if you want to see them all you have to do is hold down and you'll see them pop up right there or you can right click and the ones with the diamond next to them are minimized. So if you have a bunch of different windows open, and you minimize all of them, you can right click and the ones with the diamonds are minimized. So that's an easy way to find all your icons and you can also remember you can click on the icon and hold it and you can see all the different ones and these are the ones minimized this is the one open. So guys that was a quick little video on some hidden features in Snow Leopard. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully some of these tips will help you out. So please comment down below if you liked any of these tips and I'll see you guys in the next video.